Okay. So, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, do you want me to introduce yeah, yeah, yeah. myself? Okay. I am Puma. Um, I'm a videographer in Glasgow, yes. Can I get that again? Um, forgot to mention, don't look at the camera, look at me. Right, that's why right here, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm Puma, Puma and I'm videographer in Glasgow. Great. What is your favourite dystopia in fiction? Um, I think it's quite ironic because the movie called Her or The Circle is really a, a techno advanced in technology, but um, mentality people have are very unhappy. So I would call it dystopia. Yes. Okay, why is that your favorite? That's because I feel like that's the uh, the future we are heading to, and actually it's happening in this society. A lot of social media or. Um, it basically kind of relate to uh, being greedy, you know, we have enough food but the way that, you know, we want more, like we can see other people's life more and yeah, being greedy about, sorry, I'm just rambling. No, that's okay. I, I'm not, it's not really organized. So basically I want to say like, you know, social media thing and people can see uh, other lives more and I want to be more um, um, getting attention from people and but they seem to really happy but they're pretending in a lot of ways mm -hmm. so they want to show like a little one minute of their life but, which is not whole of that but they think that's happiness yeah that's uh, yeah does it make sense yes yeah okay um, yeah, don't worry if you find yourself just continually talking because like we can edit it around yeah, and okay. take the most interesting things you say out of it. So Okay. Um, right. Oh Okja. Okja. Okja is a Korean movie, it's in Netflix. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah? Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um yeah, Okja is um it's a movie a Korean movie, it's on Netflix, you guys can watch it right now, it's on there. Um, that's basically there's a super peak, huge, and humans actually <laughs> building the peak for years and waiting for the peak to grow to eat. So I think that's kind of relevant to nowadays society, like veganism and everything. You know, we are actually producing animals. I'm not vegan, by the way. So I just I love the yeah. I need to be vegan at some point. Anyway. Um, yeah, I, I'm being aware of what I'm eating actually right now and yeah, the way people are <laughs> treating animals and, and you know, reproducing cows and pigs and everything is quite horrible. I would call it dystopia as well. Yes. Can you name any utopias from fiction? Um, No. No? Okay, great. <laughs> Why do you think that there are so many more dystopias than utopias? Because I think that's getting people more atten attention and you always want something bad in the movie that <laughs> sorry, it sounds really not make sense, right? Can you ask me again? Yeah, why, why do you think that there are so many more dystopias than utopias? Uh, maybe people want, when they think about audience who is watching the a movie, I think more intense, more um, you know, strong, impactful thing, or you know, people focus on something that it's quite easy to get attention from people. I think when is more intense or bad or rather than good or nice, kind, you know. Okay, yeah. uh, I'm now going to give you some scenarios and these are potential futures. So what I want you to think about is um, and what it would be like if you were in this world, how you would fit into that world, um, how close it is to the world we're living today. Okay? No, could you say again? 
So I'm going to give you four different scenarios for potential futures. Right. So this is something that might happen in the future. So you imagine that you're in these worlds and think about how you would fit in, what it might feel like to be in that world. Okay. You understand? Yes. Okay. So future number one. Civilization has been damaged by war, civil conflict and revolution. Britain is a province in one of three totalitarian superstates that rule the world. It is ruled by a mysterious leader who has an intense cult of personality. The government stamps out on anyone who does not fully conform to their regime using the police and constant surveillance through household devices. Yeah. So if you were in this world, how do you think you would fit into it? How do you think you would feel? What do you, how do you think that world is similar or different to the world we're in? So did I already experience a better world before and then it happened or? Yeah, imagine this is, this okay. is our future. Okay, okay, this is our future. Um, yeah, I would feel really repressed because if, let's say, if I grow up in that kind of society already, then I wouldn't f even know how out of I would feel like freedom or anything like that. But um, you know, like for example, in North Korea, like they, some people, not everyone in North Korea, but some people don't know that actually they can be free. They don't know what the, the feeling they could have when actually government to let them in the sea or internet or travel or whatever you know we're actually privileged to um, yeah so I would feel really repressed and very scared okay. yeah that's how I would feel yeah that's good um Move on to the next one. <laughs> Future number two. Earth is a founding member of an interstellar federal republic composed of enumerary planetary sovereignties. Sorry, I didn't get any of the words you said. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Earth is a member of a republic that's made up of lots of different worlds. Each world has its own government and they exist somewhat on their own. But um, they are governed by the principles of freedom, rights and equality and they share knowledge and resources um, in peaceful corporate cooperation and space exploration. Each world gets to keep its own political and social structures. Right. Yeah, could you say it again? The whole thing? Yes. Sorry. Uh, Earth is one of the founding members of, a, I guess, a, a, a republic of different planets. They're all uh, cooperating together. Right. I'm, I'm trying to simplify the language to make yeah, it Yeah, that's better, actually. Um, each government exists, on, has, exists partly on their own, but they work together on the principles of freedom, equal rights and equality, and share knowledge and resources in peaceful cooperation and space exploration. Right, so what's the question? So it's the same as before, how do you think you would fit into that world? How close do you think that world is to ours? What do you think that future would be like? Um, so that's a positive thing, right? They're working together and... Yeah. Sounds like it, yeah? Yeah. To be honest, I don't really know what to say. Um, I don't really know what to say. Yeah. Alright, I'll move on to the next one. Yeah. So this is the third feature. It's you're on an isolated island where the inhabit inhabitants have built a society cut off from the rest of the world. Self-appointed scientific experts rule with unlimited power. It is forbidden to even tell ordinary people that the earth goes round the sun. There are no legal principles of natural law or justice limiting the power of the elite scientific experts. Right, so how would I feel if I'm in the habitant? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah, what was the after one? After one sentence? Sci scientist. The self appointed scientific experts rule with unlimited power. It is forbidden to tell the ordinary people that the earth was around the sun. 
There are no legal principles of natural justice. Right, I see. But how do you know that if he's manipulating the inhabitant, how, how would I know that I'm being manipulated? Does it make sense? I guess you know you're on an island that's cut off from the rest of the world and you know that there are scientific experts that have all the knowledge. Oh, so I know I'm, I'm being manipulated. Uh, well, you know you're on this island, and you know that the scientific experts have all of the knowledge. Right, okay, okay, I got, oh, oh, I see, I got your question for you right now. Yeah, um, actually I saw, I uh, watched this kind of movie before. Um, am I, how many people are with me? Uh, a whole <laughs> island's worth? Oh, okay. Yeah, I would feel really scared what's going on and why I'm here. Do they bring violence to me, or...? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think I would be really, really... If I don't know what's going on, why, why I end up here, then yes, I would be really scared. How do you think about it this way? Like, how, how is that different from the world that we live in today? Or, and do you think that this is how the future is going? Mm, right, okay. Um, yeah, in some sense, I would feel really um, great to be in an island or the beach and, you know, no, not much to think about and not really complicated. But at the same time, um, if I feel, if I'm being um, experiment in, you know, like a lab by someone, person who's ruling the island, then, uh, yeah, I would feel really uh, not free or scared and want to get out of there because no matter how whether there's beach or beautiful tree or nature if I feel like I, I don't have a will to leave the island then I would feel really scared yeah like in prison okay that's good okay this is the last one okay the uh, the Scottish government starts to tell the truth about the climate and wider ecological emergency they change inconsistent policies and 